Hi all, welcome to Hello World series. In this video, we will see in which scenario I need to add a dependency jar into my local repository. So for example, uh, I am using Oracle driver in my project and then I need to add that dependency jar in my pom.xml. So as soon as I add the dependency tag with Oracle driver in my pom.xml, Maven will start complaining that it's not able to find this jar or dependency. Now what's the reason? Reason is, uh, this jar is not available on any of the Maven repository. Looks surprising, right? But another question comes, why it is not present on any of the Maven repository? Now the reason is Oracle does not uh, publish this jar on any of the Maven repository due to its licensing. So how to solve that? We'll try to answer all those questions. So before that, we'll try to reproduce that problem and then we will uh, see what's the problem and how to solve it. So we'll create a sample project and we'll use this uh, basic R type, uh, which is Maven R type quick start, which we've been using for a long time. And then we will use uh, this OJDBC jar as a dependency in our pom.xml and then we will see what happens. So now let's uh, start creating that project and we'll add this jar as a dependency. So let's uh, create a new project using Maven. Next, next, I'm not going to explain all that because we've already talked about it long time. Maven created this project for you. Now let's go to pom.xml. So add this dependency. Now Maven started complaining because it does not find this, right? So what to do? To solve this issue, let's go to command prompt so if you see this command it says that mvn install it means install this jar file into my local repository then question comes which repository will be used so whichever is your m2 underscore repo will be used here you already specified that variable long time back and then d group id is com.oracle this is the package structure for that jar artifact id is ojdbc6 packaging is jar version is 112040 and file is present here and generate pom is true. Uh, main part of this command is where is my OGDBC jar, what's my version and what's the package or group ID. So once we have that, Oracle will, uh, will put this jar into my local repository. Now you can ask me this question, if it was not available anywhere, how could you find this jar? So I went to oracle.com and downloaded this jar. Okay, now let's add into local repository. It may take a while and it's done. So if you observe carefully, it says that installing this jar into this repository, this repository is specified as my local repository. And then there's a jar created, right? And then it's uh, installing POM also. So you don't have to worry about all this. Simply you have to understand this command. And then once you execute this, Maven will make that available into your local repository. Now let's go back to our Eclipse and see in pom.xml whether that error disappeared or not. So to refresh this, I should say project, then Maven, update project, right? It's updated, but still this error is not gone. Now what could be the reason? So one more thing you should try first is uh, window preferences and see maven installation so here it is embedded one right so it means that it's not using our installation so it will not use our repository so how to do that so let's specify our installation what we use and that will take our local repository so this is my maven installation i'm going to specify x1 right not embedded apply okay now after this, you should verify what are the user settings. So you should change it to your own settings.xml. So it started using C my Maven repo as my local repository. 
now let's update this project again this error went away so this is how we can solve this oracle driver uh, jar issue or any jar which is not present on any of uh, our repository we can add like this into our local repository so this is all from this video and uh, i'll come back to you with another video on apache maven thank you so much for watching